as I uh, pull engines here today, I'm pulling an engine. I don't know if you can see that on a, an old Craftsman. Those opposed uh, twin cylinders, you can't kill them engines. They were something that uh, they should have stuck with in, 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 in that tractor design. Uh, I, I'm getting the newer ones here, and i got to tell the people I can't fix them because they have uh, plastic parts inside the engine. So, Tom, this video is uh, it's aimed at you. I'm going to put it in an envelope, and hopefully one of you people on um, Judicial Watch that I donate to will watch my video. You're missing uh, an, an element, Tom, in your conversations now. Maybe it is because of the internet, because I'm going to put this on, on YouTube, and I don't give a shit what YouTube has to say. I was in countries, as I said, where there were mass graves of people you'll never meet and you'll never know because of the kind of nonsense that's going on right here. In the 1950s, my uh, grandparents, uh, both of them, they, all of them were bilingual. Most of my ancestors, they all spoke a different language. We were all uh, mothers and sons of immigrants, except for the Amish side of me. Uh, we're kind of native born indigenous folks the other half the other side of me but we're all still a mix of something and we all came from somewhere my grandparents and ancestors they did not come to this country for a free ride and they taught me the words communist consortium they learned English they had a hard time pronouncing the words but they became educated as as much as they my most of my ancestors none of them were doctors or really lawyers they were all uh, laborers they were like me i work with my hands and i enjoy it except i'm getting old and i'm starting to feel my age i love this hot murky weather if i run out of breath i've been running around like a nut since six o'clock this morning i had to change a pto out on a unit but i'm not going to bore you with my life in this video okay Woe is me, I work hard. Communist consortium, Tom. They're weakening our country from within and they're weakening our values of what we once stood for. The reason why they want to they want to take us over. They want to remove our identity, Tom. That's what this is about. Removing our identity, then they take us over. It's not going to happen. There's too many guns and bullets out there. There's uh, caravans of uh, ammunition being hijacked. I understand, as I understand it, Mexico wasn't the only issue. That, that wasn't a once and done thing. Uh, I believe out in New Mexico, uh, I don't know if it was Olin out there that has a plant. I know some of them change names. They play the name game, so you can't really identify. That's another thing that's going on. It's bullshit. Change the name is something every other week. There was a truckload, I believe, from Olin Manufacturer, which used to be part of a Remington plant. That, that load of bullets was hijacked as well, and that was high-capacity bullets for the military. So, at Beer 30... Tom, I don't know why you're not screaming in their faces. You've got to sue, okay, those jerk-off Supreme Court judges individually as people. And they got to get rid of this. As much as it's a communist takeover, they're right about that qualified immunity. That needs to go, especially when you're breaking the law. You need to be arrested and you need to be prosecuted for breaking those laws under which we live. There should be no such thing as doing what you goddamn well please on the bench when you're representing a constitution. That's where they're manipulating people like you, Tom. It's not a question of whether we have a constitution or whether the judge believes something is constitutional. That's why we have juries. That's why this needs to go to a grand jury. And it needs to go before a jury of peers. And I don't mean politicians. I mean people like me. Because I'd butt fuck all of those Supreme Court judges, especially Roberts. I'd butt fuck him so fast his head would spin. He'd be in a federal penitentiary right next to Clinton's and right next to pig vomit Pelosi. Okay, right next to Biden and his junkie son and every other junkie on there, and especially Schiff. You got a point about Schiff. He was in with Pelosi. They cooked this up. They are the Communist Party. Don't get Harris and Biden. They're dupes. As you can see, they're stupid. Okay, you ask them a question, they can't answer it honestly because they're being controlled by that shy communist government that is now trying to take us over. That's who's trying to take us over. It's not these bunch of street hooligans and our own politicians. Our politicians are weakening this country for China to walk right in here on our soil. They want to have our, our, our children transgendered and neutered. I don't know where the hell what other country that would, that, where that would fly. Or is that why we're over there in the Middle East trying to influence their, uh, all of their culture to turn fruity? Okay? You are what you are when you're born. What you become after your birth. Okay? People can be swayed. Okay, so if you have a perverted parent, 
uh, you might be done in life, Tom. But this move towards breaking le legitimate laws and constitutionality and having a disregard, that's why I drink a beer, because I worry about where my country's going and, and where it's going to end up, and, and we're going to end up in the dirt, Tom. We're going to end up in, in, in a fight for our lives with this communist entity, okay? China's got a lot of friends. They've got a lot of republics that you've never heard of, and they're a, a lot of them are Asian, and some of them are not. Some of them are up north in Russia. There's a huge, huge influence of Asian all around. And in South America, they now have bases in South America. And even you're not talking about that or you're not investigating it. But China has set up shop there in Venezuela. They're going to set up shop in, in uh, I believe, Brazil and a northern part of Costa Rica. Now, I don't know how, because Costa Rica is mostly UK controlled. A portion of it is. Uh, I've been there. And it's nice. The UK... The UK side of Costa Rica is a nice place. I I, I would like to live there. Actually, it's it's, it's and the weather's beautiful. It gets a little brutal in the summer, but so does that. So does that happen here. Tom, you got to look at your your face in the mirror, and what you represent. You either represent the law or you don't. You have to sue the Supreme Court judges and jerk them out, and you also have to present those findings. Okay, what you're finding, uh, uh, you know, with Schiff and and all that and Pelosi. Why is Pelosi, why are these people's bank accounts not being investigated? They're offshore accounts. That's what needs to be gone after. And it's what I'm considering you're doing with the money that people like me are donating. We need to find those money trails. Because a lot of it leads back to Soros and th that portion of Israel that is controlling th this happening. There is a portion of Israel that's involved in this. Don't tell me there's not because I've been there. That's another thing. A lot of people, no, no, no. Because my own mother tries to tell me that. You know something, Tom? You, you, you're, you're not going to not, not gonna pee down my back tell me it's raining. That, that ain't going to happen. I've been around the world. I went around the world seven times on an aircraft carrier before I was 21 years old, Tom. Think about that. Put that in the back of your mind. You're not going to tell me that the moon is blue when it's green or it's orange. It is what it is when you see it, and it is what it is when you go to another country. Okay? They're after a communist takeover, and you have to put that out in your messages on every every media platform that you can. I'm only sorry that you know YouTube is one of the only media platforms you're functioning on besides the two others. Trump and you guys really do need to make your own social media. Get the right wing together on a channel and we have a chance. Because if we don't, okay, this whole thing's gotta change the way they're operating. Let me get a shot of my beer. It's 93 degrees here in a cold beer that it stays cold about 15-20 uh, minutes and then you got uh, you got pee in a cup so I, I believe in your a lot of your philosophies are, are, are actually not even philosophy they're truth Tom uh, people like me see it other people see it that's why they believe in you that's why we donate to you but we need to get the prosecutions we need to stop dancing around with investigations you stumbled on the hornet's nest, you overturned the hornet's nest. You're the next guy that's going to have to go into hiding like Roger Stone, Alex Jones, and everybody else, and Trump. They sent everybody away. You represent the law. You know what the court laws are. And if not, we got to get a force of people down there to jerk them Supreme Court judges right out of their seats. Okay? I'd love to be the guy that pulls fucking John Roberts right out of his seat. I'll swing him around by his balls and smack the walls with him. Okay? Those Muppets are nothing to guys like me. That PTSD comes through, especially when I see those shitheads with them shit-eating grins sitting there behind them desks like Pelosi doing what they're doing. She needs to be taken out on the, on the Washington, D.C. street corner and set out with the rest of the trash like she is. So that's my message to you, Tom. To get across to people, start looking up communism. You're younger than me. I, I thought you were about the same age. You're only in your 40s, okay? What do you get up near 60, okay, and somebody talks to your face like I do? It's a little hard, but it's not criticism, because I, I don't necessarily agree with anything or disagree with anything that you really say, okay? It's just the fact that the way you're going about things is, it's been one investigation after another. You found the rats, you, you know, you got all the rats in a row. I, I mean, even the Clintons. They left a, a trail of bodies behind them like, like no, no, other, no other corrupt government in the world has, okay? What's going on here is as bad as Saddam Hussein and every other little dictator now that they've taken out over the last 50 years, 100 years. They're dictators. They're nothing but communist, scumbag dictators. Okay? And I'm not going to live under that kind of rule. 
I gotta tell you, because the first one that represents law enforcement here that gets out of line with me is done. It's not going to go away, Tom, unless there's a prosecution. Starting with Schiff and Pelosi, then working on down the line to the Clintons, the Bidens, and his junkie uh, son. If I had a son like Hunter Biden, I'd murder him. None of my children are on dope, Tom. All of them work, and they work hard, just like their dad taught them to. I'm, sp I'm supposed to be retired, and I'm here pulling engines and servicing lawn tractors. That's what I do in my retirement, in the summer. There's not much for guys like me. I'm not going to take a job. Yeah, there's good wages being offered, Tom. That's another thing. That's how they broke this down, okay? They, they, mailed, they shipped every job overseas. Now every job here is a sweatshop slave labor job, okay? I think I told you my employment history is when people find out what I can do. Uh, Firestone hired me briefly. They had eight, eight techs, eight bays, and by my fifth week of employment there, they got rid of three techs and I'm running four bays. The bay they started me out in and, and three other bays. It, it just ain't going to happen, especially when I'm single and i got to wash, cook, clean, cut grass. It just ain't going to happen. I wanted a part-time schedule. I didn't want some dictator there like they did take over my life, and, and it's what happens, okay? The employment in this country is Mickey Mouse at best. It's like a Mickey Mouse wind-up watch. And $17 an hour compared to what things are going up with is less than minimum wage now, thanks to Joe Biden. Get with it. Start uh, telling the truth. I'm going to get this in an envelope to you. I don't know what day you'll get it and what day you'll get to sit down and watch it. No no hurry, but I would like a phone call. Uh, like I said, again, I'll enclose my personal information. I'm not ashamed of who I am, what I represent, or what I say. Because what I say is from my heart. I also say that as a combat veteran, okay, that almost got his balls shot off. I don't deserve the shit that's going on. And neither does any other American, especially a hard-working American, let alone servicemen. They've pissed and shit all over us veterans. They've insulted me and slapped me in the face, and I'd like, I'd like, I'd like to see Pelosi in handcuffs for what she did. Thanks, Tom. That's my message to you.